It's the effing news. I choose to watch the debate on CNN. If you haven't seen it on CNN, then you haven't seen the little fun meter that goes across the screen that determines how much people love person when they're speaking. There was one moment in the town hall debate where women loved Obama so much, you could actually hear America getting moist. I don't want to say McCain's out of touch, but uh, when he saw Obama, he had him park his car. McCain appeared uncomfortable because he got his medications mixed up and did both debates with a raging erection. You gotta tuck your boner into your belt. I think everyone tunes in just to see if, when John McCain's gonna snap and stab him in the fucking neck. Because as you know, he's like, oh, he's, I said no taxes! Here comes more news. Uh, John McCain's running ads, Barack Obama wants to give dildos to your kindergartner. Don't be surprised if he releases an ad that's simply, Obama, he's black. Obama, he's colored. Darker than normal Americans. I may have melanoma. But at least I don't have melanin. <laughs> I mean, nobody can deny that Barack Obama is a great speaker, but I don't know, whenever I watch him speak, I always feel like at the last second, he's just gonna turn to the camera and say, that's all state stance. Are you in good hands? Damn you, David Palmer. I thought it was ironic that McCain came down hard on Obama for telegraphing what he was going to do. But I'm not going to telegraph my punches, which is what Senator Obama did. Because I actually have a daguerreotype of John McCain sending a telegraph. A lot of people are on McCain's case for picking Sarah Palin as vice president, and I think he could have done a better job with his pick. I think he should have gone with Dirk Nowitzki. That way you have two Mavericks on one ticket. You got the straight shooter, and you got the three-point shooter. It's over. I would not sleep with Sarah Palin, yet I would love to sleep with Tina Fey as Sarah Palin. No thank you, but I would like to talk about being an outsider. You betcha. I only wink when I want to let people know that I don't mean what I'm saying. Yeah, last time a chick winked at me that much, I had to put my wallet in my sock. That was the first time I ever masturbated to a debate. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Biden, that guy. Ooh. News. I think we're going to be all right in this uh, in this financial crisis because I hear Paulson's going to take that 800 billion and bet on Kimbo Slice. Oh, 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 slice goes down. Slice in trouble. CEOs with golden parachutes should be subjected to golden showers. Some people say we should put these guys in jail. Some people, I mean, I think we need to be reasonable and use our heads. And I say, how about a nice, tasteful public hanging? We should actually make them jump out of planes with golden parachutes. Actual golden parachutes. At least I still have my stock in Atari. So Iraq, that's still going on, if you weren't aware. Iraq is kind of like, yes, dear. Like, you're always surprised it's still on when you turn on the TV. The only difference is, like, the Iraq war is slightly funnier than yes, dear. That's the effing news. Ew, that robot just barfed.